Mr. Norton. Thank you, Mr. Fisher. Um, I just want to um, <coughs> reflect a little bit back on what's what we've been talking about tonight and saving the town money and, and uh, being cost effective. And um, I hear that we're over budget $13,361 for the seven months from July 2012 to January 2013. And that's just for the last seven months. Um, I had wanted to get some updated numbers um, that are current and reflect the actual uh, legal fees in, um, <clears throat> since our last meeting a month ago. Um, but I, uh, I did look at invoices for legal fees um, regarding lawsuits brought against the town um, regarding water and sewer issues. Um, one uh, lawsuit um, that attempted to stop construction of the wastewater treatment plant, uh, one brought by a developer um, that was triggered by that first lawsuit, and another lawsuit that, um, that questions ordinances passed by this board. Um, and the total for those lawsuits, and none of the current numbers have included in the last month, but just so residents know, when we, when we hear from people who are uh, talking about not wanting to pay professionals to look out for the best interest of the town and save them some money, um, this is these lawsuits um, now total because that 13,361 was set for seven months. <coughs> um, the last numbers I had were um, 86,000 dollars. Those are all invoiced legal expenses, courtesy of Robert Fisher. 86. <coughs> thousand dollars in legal expenses that is not overages in, in in the line item for that is the direct result of the legal fees we have had to pay to attorneys because of the two lawsuits that robert fisher brought against the town and the lawsuit brought by a developer because of the lawsuit mr fisher brought against the town make no mistake we are going to hear of course that this is another attempt by the town attorney to profit the majority of these legal fees were not incurred by the town attorney they were they were incurred by the law firm of uh, uh, that Mr. Colorisi works for Karpinski um, that is the majority of those, those legal fees um, when I say the majority we are talking about the vast majority of those legal fees um, the lion's share of those legal fees have gone to um, Mr. Colorici's firm. He is not the town attorney. He is the attorney representing the town on behalf of the town regarding the capital lawsuit. I just want to make that clear for residents when we hear about um, a raise for a town administrator who has negotiated contracts and gotten grants for us um, and is basically doing two jobs. Uh, as Ms. Alphon pointed out, doing two jobs for the price of one, and we have someone else who is taking money out of your pockets and who is risking a $20 million lawsuit. And I don't want us to forget that <clears throat> when a resident asked him, what would he do if he had to pay $20,000 his share of the legal fees if we lose the lawsuit. He said, I'll write a check. Um, now, you did too! <laughs> <laughs> I was here all the time. And I tell my daughter to do the same thing. That's exactly what I'm Exactly what you said, Mr. Fisher. Okay, well, that's what I would do. Um, you don't have it. Thank you, sir. Um, for clarifying that. Um,